Hi everyone, in this video we'll see how to type align environment in the uh, LaTeX. If you see the thumbnail, what we have here, uh, we have a f of x equal to an equation, uh, in fact expression, and then below that an expansion of that expression has been written. Note that the equal to whichever was been over kept over here has been kept in the same line over here as well as over here and as well as over here. Let's learn how to type uh, these kind of expressions in the LaTeX. Let's get started. So here I am with my uh, text studio opened. All that I have here is a document class article has been written and I have a begin, environment, begin document and end document here and I have a section title it's named as align environment. That's all. So the way we type the aligned environments or aligned equations are using a uh, command called slash begin align and of course we need to end the block slash end align so anything you type here in between uh, this slash begin align and end align can be aligned suitably by using your ampersand symbol but to do use this uh, particular environment we need a package called slash uh, we need a package called ams math let's first of all uh, import that so let's write use package and then ams math that's all. That's all we have. Now you can see that the error whichever was showing on the align environment is gone. So let me simply type uh, test and compile this and what it just gives. Uh, remember what it does actually gives you is it puts this test uh, word in the math mode and uh, also if you scroll this side and it also gives you the number which means it does actually give you an equation environment inside that. Uh, the way we uh, type in the uh, as like in the thumb line is let's start typing that f of x is equal to uh, what I have in thumbnail was x square minus 5x plus 6 isn't it so that's x square minus 5x plus 6 uh, if I compile this now uh, now you can see that that has been typed let me uh, type the second line uh, to go with the second line uh, it is simply as that uh, your new line character which is double slash all right so just type double backward slashes and that brings the next line here. Remember I wanted to type uh, equal to x square minus 2x minus 3x plus 6. Let me type that. So equal to x square minus 2x minus 3x plus 6. Right. Let me compile this and show you what happens. Uh, remember if you see this and uh, this is simply generates or gives an another equation mode here. Uh, and it does uh, align set center that's all it does uh, but what I wanted was I wanted this uh, equal to to be the second equal to be aligned in the same places as that of the first equal to uh, how am I going to achieve that it's simply by uh, saying what is which place you have to align it uh, so you need to actually put a character called uh, Amberson symbol which is uh, something that says that uh, just before this equal to you stop the uh, process and uh, align at that particular place so if you note if i simply compile this now i don't think so you'll see any different here uh, of course you have seen this right because what's happening here is it just of course puts the ampersand symbol and then uh, anything after that will of course consider as the first uh, uh, portion of it correct so this f of x has been of course aligned with this or in other words the second line has been aligned with this but what I wanted was I wanted this equal to be aligned with the previous equal to so I put the similar uh, or same ampersand symbol over here just before the uh, equal to and if I compile this right now and that gives me the equal to in the same order that's all it is uh, of course for the uh, beautification purpose so I will just uh, put it in the proper number line order so that it will give me a uh, better look uh, let me type the one more ampersand symbol and equal to why why do I do that because I need uh, this equal to should be right below this equal to so this ampersand symbol uh, acts like a placeholder for that so you need to break at this place and uh, put an equal to right below this and start writing anything you wanted um, what was there in the uh, thumbnail let's see it it is x into x minus 2 minus 2 times of x minus 3 yeah it should be x minus 3 right yeah so that is x into x minus 2 um, minus um, 2 times or sorry 3 times of x minus 2 
right? And again, one more double slash to bring it down and enter and ambassador symbol and equal to and that is x minus 3 times x minus 2. All right. So now let me compile this and that gives me what I wanted. So this first equal to, second equal to, third equal to and fourth equal to all are at the same point or all are at the same line. Of course, you can see that there is numbers has been generated for each line. Uh, that's what the expected one also. Uh, if you would have noticed uh, our equation environment, if we do not want any number, then we usually put a star. So that has been usually given by the AMS math package. So I can just write uh, star in the uh, align over here as well as the end of the block align over here. And if I compile this and that does gives me no number in any of the places. Uh, maybe you might want the number at the end only at the end of the place. Uh, in that case, what you have to do here is you can delete this uh, star in both the places and compile this right now. And this gives me number back uh, just before this. Uh, um double slash type slash no number and compile this and that takes off the number from the first equation so repeat the same thing for everything else so i'm going to copy this and paste it before the second one and also the third one and so the first three equations will not have a number whereas the last one will have a number uh, which is equivalently saying that the complete environment is having one number over here uh, that's all for this video and I hope you like this video. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.